Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this video. I've had a lot of requests for this, so I'm going to show you guys how, uh, how it's done. How to properly make a noose. Alright, so as you all know, this is a noose. This is actually a, an official style noose with 13 loops which makes it I guess official let me um, let me put this down here real quick okay. all right that might be shaky but we're gonna see how much of that holds here all right hopefully that'll hold Okay, so when I say an actual noose, see it slides in and out with one, one smooth, one smooth pull, meaning this rope is going straight through one continuous motion through these series of loops, and there's nothing holding it at all, and this is the result. So you get a firm, 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 non-slip noose. Now to take the noose off, we're gonna just pull it, uh, well, you know what, let's do it there, like this. Let me explain what's happening here real quick too. Okay, there's a series of loops inside the knots which create this loop and this little loop on the end. And that little loop on the end is what secures this in the final, in your final stage. All right, so we're gonna take this off and get a look at the inside of this. All right. All right, I'm just unpartialing, unpartially doing the un, uh, the loops just to show you what's happening inside a noose when it's being when you're uh, manipulating the rope. So this is our neck loop. We'll call it the neck loop. I don't know what it's actually called. Watch out, cat! The other way. Okay. Remember, this is the loop that holds this these loops on that once it winds up, it goes up. So if you were to move this, this is your neck loop, neck loop going in and out. And it's supported by these inner loops right here. So we're gonna take these off again, finish this. All right, so this is your noose with almost all your loops taken off all right and our last loop will come off right now all right so this is how you want to start your rope um, to get the proper 13 loops you're going to need approximately three or four times the amount of your the uh, uh, new setup and then it's just a simple matter of wrapping so once you've got your noose in this your rope set up in this position you hold it like this and you start to wrap and it's important to keep this all straight as you put your loops around keep this straight so you go around I find it's a little easier to hold it once you get going like this and that way you can keep your ropes straight so around 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 all 
Always keep this straight. You don't want to pull it super, super tight because you still need to have your neck loop have some, some play. So it's just finger tight the whole way down. And then when you reach the end, you tie the tail in, hold it with your finger, and pull this up. And that pulls this onto your tail end and stops your loop from going through your other series of loops. This particular one's a little looser than I would have liked, uh, but as long as you have freedom of movement in the rope itself, it shouldn't matter and you're generally only using these once. Uh -huh. So that is how you build a proper noose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. That is how to build a proper actual authentic noose all right guys thanks for joining me on this um i generally uh i, I wasn't planning on doing this particular video uh but uh somebody had asked me about uh how to actually make one um uh and i thought it would be kind of an interesting video to uh to shoot uh from here in welland thank you very much uh for watching i will see you guys on the next one and i will uh i will look forward to do uh to uh to that See you guys later.